All right, yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Q. I'm back at it again with another video. I'm finally back from LA. Split Mind Studio was a great time. I learned a lot of stuff, but I'm back and I'm ready to grind out these videos. So let's do it. But anyways, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys one of the biggest secrets and best ways to just improve your melodies. And also once we get the melody down, I'm gonna dive into the drums and show you guys some cool bounces you can do and just like some stuff I do in my 808s just to make your beats better. So let's jump into the video. All right, you guys, so I'm at my desk. I got FL Studio pulled up and I'm gonna show you guys the best way to start making your melodies. So the secret that's really not a secret, but I'm telling you, it's pretty much what I've done to learn everything I know is, is find producers that you really like who are making melodies that you really like, download their MIDI kits if they have them and just study them, learn how they make the music, learn like where they're clicking in notes, how they're making triads and so on and so forth. So for example, I'm a big fan of Nick Mirror's production. So I got two of his MIDI kits right here. I got MIDI Magic Volume 1 and Volume 2. Basically, what I'll do is I'll pull up a basic piano, like some keyscape stuff. I mean, you could even use FL keys. But I'll put the MIDI in there, and I'm just going to study it, go through a bunch, and just and just really study how his music is made. All right, so like I said, I got this keyscape bank pulled up. It's just a LA Custom C7 Softest Piano. We're going to start, and I'm just going to go by the name Happy Thoughts. Drag it in there, and let's hear how it sounds. Another thing I do is, so I'll look at the first note, which is usually where the root note should be. Root note would be the first note at the bottom for the most part, but it can be different. But for example, in this one, what I'll do is go to scale highlighting and go to F minor because it sounds, it sounds like a minor progression. And as you can tell, the blacked out notes are the ones that are not in the scale. And it looks like every note is in the scale. So I know this is F minor. Now what I would do is I would study how he made the triad right here. So it looks like what he did here is he went from F, skipped one note and went to the next one. You can see that's G sharp and then skipped another note and went to C. So this is the triad right here. But all he did was take this note and brought it up a whole octave. Then he also added one more extra note on top and you get that chord. And the next thing I would do is just go through the progression and find the next chord. It sounds like it's right here. So it looks like it is a C sharp chord. And for example, this is where it gets a little different. So he didn't actually do one of the most common techniques is where you just go from the root note, skip a note and go to the next one and do the same thing. As you can see if he did that, it'd be an F right here. But instead, all you have in this chord is C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. Basically the point I'm trying to get at here is there's a lot of different ways you could go about making chords. You could do the most common technique that we went through for that first chord, or you could just kind of do some random stuff. And like I said, I don't really know anything about music theory, so there's probably probably some idea behind this. I have no idea what it is. But basically, just you want to play around. You use scale highlighting as your best friend, honestly. For the most part, as long as you keep the notes in the areas that are in the scale, it's going to sound good. Yeah, aside from that lesson, let's use that knowledge that we just gained and make a chord progression. I'm going to keep this same piano, and I'm going to just delete the notes. We're going to go into a different scale and I'm just going to kind of go through what we just learned and just try and make my own progression. Let's start at A natural minor. That's one of my favorite scales, honestly. And what you'll notice with A natural minor is all the notes that are in scale are just literally the white notes, which is one thing that makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to bring the BPM up to like 173. And then usually what I do is I kind of find a bounce with the root notes. So I'll start at A and I'll just lay down some notes and kind of find a bounce. Of the metronome. All right, so this is the bounce that I just made with just the bass notes. So you're going to notice it's super simple and you can't really even make an idea out of it yet, but it just gets that bass idea out of my head. Right now that sounds good to me, but what I'm gonna do is just make some simple triads. So I will skip from the root note, I'll skip one note and go to C, and then skip this note and go E to E. And we'll bring that middle note up an octave. I'm gonna do this for every single chord and just make sure it sounds right. Same thing as before, skip that one note, boom, bring it up an octave. Same thing here, bring E up an octave, go to D, octave, here. I forgot to do the F. So let's do that. Boom, boom. boom. 
see so i don't really like how this b sounds so let's see if we can fix that keep it like that for now we might change it later but what i'm doing now is taking the root notes hitting shift click on them and bringing them down an octave so we have a little more bass <laughs> Also gonna do is just lengthen these so the bass plays out a little longer and now what i'm gonna do is usually kind of the easier part you don't really have to pay attention to chords i'm just gonna go through and kind of make a counter melody and all i'm gonna do is just put notes that are in the scale so it should be pretty easy So I like how that sounds already. So now I'm just going to change the sound because I really don't want it to be a piano. So I'm going to bring the volume down all the way and I'm going to just start searching through some one shots. I'm going to start out with probably a pluck. Cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find like a pad sound. So I like how that sounds. I'm gonna route it to mix track two and just we're gonna make this sound a little less dry. So real quick, I'm working on this crazy kit right now. It's gonna have like drums, one shots, loops, a bunch of MIDI in there, like pretty much everything. The whole goal of the kit is just like, for example, if you're in a studio, someone's like, hey, can you make a beat real quick? You want to be able to do it as fast as possible. So it's literally gonna have everything in there. You don't even gotta load up VSTs. Just drag MIDI, throw a one shot on it, and put some drums on it right away. What's also going to have some FL Studio like mixer presets in there. For example, this is one of the ones I'm working on right now for pads. So you'll just drag it on and it'll have all the effects that you would need for a pad. So it's got an EQ, got, I'm going to bring this EQ down and then it's got this reverb right here. It's effect called Echo Cat by Waves. Then an imager just to make the sound a little wider. spacious and it just sounds a lot better and also what i'm going to be doing with these mixer presets is i'm going to have some that are with like external plugins and then some that are just like fl stock so for people that don't have all the plugins you'll still be able to use them Now all I'm doing is looking for like another bell or another sound just to stack with that initial pluck we have. I like this one right here. Drag this in. Just copy over that same thing. So last sound I'm going to go for here is just like some kind of ARP. So I'm going to Electra X. I'm going to just pull up some banks by the man halfway. We'll bring the decay down. The K down. Just down a tad bit more. I'm going to go add an EQ. Let's go to this third preset right here. So I think the only thing left is a bass. So I'm gonna grab this one right here from my drum kit. It's just like a Reese bass. All we're gonna do is go cut itself. Envelope settings. Just it like this. Just holds all the way up. And we're gonna go into chord progression. 
Let's copy those bass notes. I'm trying to mix this just a little bit better. All right, so I brought these sounds into the playlist. I just split them by channel, and I'm just gonna have like an intro with this, like all the sounds, and then for the part, we're gonna start working on the drums, taking out the bass. Let's see, I think I'm also gonna take out Electra X ARP, maybe the pad, let's see how this sounds. for something like super bouncy with this so what i'm gonna do is literally have the hi-hat be a two bar pattern so i'm gonna take this just do bring this note out over like this and i'm gonna duplicate it over just two times so the hi-hat's gonna be super repetitive but like the reason for that is it's just gonna make the bounce super bouncy so i'm gonna be using my drum kit that just came out it is called the essentials volume one I will have a link in the description for that if you want to go cop it. But I'm going to be using this 808 called Lean With Me. Well, so I like that. I'm, what I'm going to end up doing with this beat is having an 808 switch. But first thing I'm going to do is just wrap these to a mixer track. We're going to go to mixer track 13, hit control shift L. What I'm going to do is go to one of these other mixer tracks that I have called hi-hat and this just gives it a really cool bounce it has effectrix on it it has like this reverse effects if you listen to it you can hear it next thing we need is that kick There's two open hands, so I'm gonna route those, and that's pretty much it for the beat. I'm going to split this by channel, and then we're going to arrange it. All right, so you got the intro right here. And then this part right here would be like the hook. And I have the kick come in on like the second part of the hook. And then right after that, we'll have the verse, which is where the 808 switch up will be. And what I'm going to do there is actually go into Bell. I'm going to make it unique, bring it down an octave, and let's see how that sounds. And then I'm, for the second part of the verse, what I'll do is make the pad unique as well, and bring that down an octave as well, or duplicate that over. And for the first part of the verse, I'm going to have none of the hi hats in there and also not the snare. And then we're gonna duplicate it over and bring the snare back in and the hi-hats as well. All right guys, but that is it for the video. So if you guys did enjoy this one, make sure you hit that like button. If you learned anything new, you already know what to do, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be around a lot more, so stay tuned. If you guys are looking for any of my kits, the links are always in the description. If you wanna follow me on social media, you already know where to go, at OKQ. Okay that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.